he just strangled that man on the counter. That is a motherfucking man. I don't think this book could have been written better if she had the voice of God whispering in her ear telling her what to write, okay? Give them no choice. And he also like sent her a picture of his junk before this and was like, I know you missed this. And she had to block him because he's being a fucking weirdo. Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to my little corner of the internet. It's Rocky. And guess what? I cured my reading slump. I didn't think I'd be able to do it either, but here we are. I'm gonna show you exactly which book did it and I'm gonna tell you why, but it does have to do with the tips that I gave in my last video, okay? But I hope that my next video will be me coming back and saying that I cured it and this is that. I did cure it. So let me show you how I did it and with what book. So originally I had been discussing using excuse me while I ugly cry as my reread and hopefully helping me get over my reading slump, but that didn't actually work. Um, I actually kind of got bored because I already knew the story. I don't tend to reread much unless it's like a story that I really, really love. Like I'll reread to all the boys I loved before or um, maybe the neighbor favor. But for some reason I can't really reread things that I've already read um, as much. I could rewatch shows I've already watched. I don't know why, but I don't know. I was just having a hard time. I was just having a hard time being able to get into the book when I already knew what was gonna happen. Even though it was a romance book, so you kind of already know what's gonna happen. But this book right here, this is a graphic novel that I got in the mail from HarperCollins. And I started reading it just to like look at the art, but then I got really into it. And when I got really into it, before I knew it, the day had gone by and I had finished the whole book. Like, finished the whole book. And I was like, whoa, I wanna read another book right now. And basically that helped cure my reading slump and I saw a rec for Honey and Spice, which I already had when it was sent to me. So I definitely uh, want to get into that next. But this relates to my last video because I said, if you're in a reading slump, one of the cures, not the cure, but this was the cure for me this time. One of the cures is to read a new book that is also short and fast paced. So it keeps you intrigued and you just wanna keep going as much as possible till you get to the end because it's fast, it's quick. It's um, either a novella of 100 pages or a graphic novel. A graphic novel turns out to be very helpful for me. I've actually never read a graphic novel before, but I loved it. I'm gonna show you guys some of the things too. Like this is the inside of it. Super cute. Um, it was super fun to go through. I used to read comic books, so I guess that counts, but now I really wanna get into graphic novels because once this was sent to me, I was like, oh, this is like drawings with a black woman and like dialogue. Because sometimes if I just wanna skim a book, if I just want to see what it's about, I'll just read the dialogue. And this was perfect for me. And the drawings were super cute. And you guys know I love black authored things that aren't like centered around trauma. And this is totally that. So it really helped to cure my reading slump. I am more motivated to read now than ever because it was really dying out for me in February and towards the beginning of March, I'm not going to lie, because it is now March 9th. And even when I made the video that I guess you guys are going to see already by the time I post this but when I made that video I was going through a slump even towards the beginning of March and it sucked but ghost roast definitely helped to solve my reading slump and I feel happier and more energetic and optimistic and I remember why I loved reading because of this book so I highly recommend it um and now I highly recommend graphic novels so now when I say read a new book to get you out of a reading slump that's short I'm gonna say novellas or graphic novels because graphic novels are very helpful so I have learned. I want this video to be a reading vlog of me attempting to get through two books this week. It's going to be Honey and Spice, which I'm starting this weekend, and then Tender Beast, which my friend Ali got for me because I told her I was on a book buying ban. And she said, send me your wish list right now. I love her so much. Also, it was recently her birthday, so happy birthday, Ali, if you see this. But yeah, this is Lizelle Sanbury's newest release. Um, I wasn't too into her last like horror release or like thriller release called Delicious Monsters. There was just a lot of like, not gore in a sense of like blood, but gore in the sense of like maggots and stuff like that. But Tender Beast is supposed to be about, I think an elite or rich black family who has like secrets of their own. And I love secret families, okay? Also the cover is freaking amazing like it was so eye-catching even look at the spine the spine sick but i think i'm gonna start with honey and spice but it should be easy to balance them both because they're two completely different genres and i'm not reading any other books right now um i actually took a pause on my high fantasy one because it was just too much for me to understand and i think that's also what caused my reading slump so i want to come back to it when i feel more motivated to finish it but i think i was like a quarter of the way into that one and i should finish it but 
high fantasy, man. It's hard to get into. It's hard to understand. And obviously not for others. That might just be me. But yeah, it's hard for me to understand, I should say. Now that you guys are up to speed, welcome to the reading vlog. We're going to start with Onion Spice right now. By the way, y'all, I have a book light now. I used to not be a book light girly because I used to think that they go on every single page and like I had to keep moving it. That's not true. I found out that it goes at the back of the book. Here, this is what I've discovered. So this clip right here, it's like really, really safe for your book. Um, oops. And then I'm going to show you guys. So it turns on with this little power button. Boom, like that. And then you can change the brightness. Oh, I think this is the warmth. So these are the different levels of warmth and these are the different levels of brightness sorry to blind you but it's really good because my room doesn't have the best lighting so any way i can be able to see because i am partially blind okay not partially blind any way that i could be able to see better with my low lighting is best for me but yeah i recently figured out that it goes there mm -hmm. if you want one of these i got it for like i don't remember the exact price i think like five to ten dollars anywhere in that range on tiktok um so if you go to my tiktok rocky reads it's in my showcase so you'll be able to find that and then buy it and then tiktok shop always has a whole bunch of deals and coupons so you'll get it for even cheaper than i did but hey y'all welcome to sunday night it is currently 7 30. i didn't get that far into it on saturday but honestly i'm just happy that i'm in the mood to read again at all uh, i think i'm on page 23 yeah, I'm on chapter three, page 23. I'm loving it so far. It's very, um, I don't know if you guys ever watched Dear White People when the lady has her radio show at her um, PWI, which is uh, Primarily White Institute. I also am having a hard time reading in their accents because I know that this is based in the UK somewhere. Some of my followers reached out to me and said that they read this book and didn't like it. And then others reached out and said that this is their favorite book they've ever read. So um, I guess we'll have to see. I know a lot of people's reasons for not liking certain books is because they're corny so if that's the reason for this book that just won't be it for me i love corny things i love corny movies shows um collectibles books i just love all things corny okay like y'all might even already know this if you know that from my first video i mentioned that a series that got me back into reading during quarantine was actually the after series so that should say a lot about the type of stuff I like. So my goal is to get, I would say to page like 50, maybe a hundred if I'm feeling generous to myself, but I want to be realistic. So I feel like 50 is a good goal to reach tonight. Cause I also have all week to finish this. And then I still want to get to Tender Beast. So I'm not sure if I want to finish Honey and Spice and then get to Tender Beast or just kind of balance them. But I guess we'll see. I probably will just end up balancing them if I know myself. Oh, also, I watched a movie last night from Prime Video. It was called Upgraded with that girl from um, Riverdale who plays Veronica. I think her name's Camila something. And then the, the cute guy from Shadow and Bone. He's also in this movie as a love interest, like a British love interest. It was super cute. Like, I haven't heard anybody talk about it, but I think rom-coms are on their way back. It was kind of like the Devil Wears Prada if it was a rom-com, if that makes sense. So yeah, um, if you wanted a new movie wreck and you're a reader, I think Upgraded is great for romance readers because it, I feel like it's right up our lane. But let me get back into this and then I will update y'all on where I'm at later tonight.
So I just made it to chapter four and apparently there is forced proximity in this book, which I had no idea about because they are going to be forced to work on a project together. And I'm very excited about that. Okay. I love, I love that. Give them no choice. Hey y'all. So I genuinely forgot to update y'all last night, but welcome to Monday. I did hit 50 pages last night. I'm really enjoying it so far. It's giving TV show. The goal today is to reach 100 pages. I obviously have stuff to do because it's Monday, but I feel like 100 pages is a solid goal. And again, no pressure on myself. So if I don't reach it, I don't reach it. This is just me getting back into the enjoyment of reading and pulling myself out of my slump. So this is really just what I'm vlogging is the experience of getting over the slump. I will be updating y'all later on if I made it or not. I promise I will update. I shouldn't promise. Y'all find out though. Y'all will find out. Hey y'all, welcome to Tuesday night. Um, I know I was supposed to update y'all Monday night, but I actually didn't end up reading at all Monday. So we're now on Tuesday night and I'm actually only on page 60 right now, but I wanted to check in because the main characters are finally interacting at this party, right? The main characters are finally interacting at this party and when she walks up to the guy that she's been making eye contact from across the bar, like the other main character, the male main character, he literally said, tell me what you need me to do. That's the first thing he said when she walked across the bar or the room. When she walked across the room, he said, what you need me to do? That is a motherfucking man. I can already tell I'm going to love Malachi. He is mysterious um a bit of a flirt as angelica schuyler would say um he just got it i'm intrigued this book is very intriguing it's definitely different than i thought it would be i don't know why i didn't know it was a college romance i don't really read the blurbs of books okay i just go based off of vibes if the cover is cute and if it was recommended to me maybe like a line or two if that's how it was sold to me but yeah i'm intrigued my books um yeah i will check in hopefully before i go to bed if not tomorrow which will be wednesday on how far i made it into this book but yeah i'm loving it so far toodles hey y'all welcome to saturday i know it's been a minute and i also have some tragic tragic news okay when i was moving my tote bag from one area of my house to another I had put a water bottle in it. It was a full water bottle. I wasn't even looking. And tragically, it opened in my tote bag and it damaged honey and spice. I am pained by this, but I have great bookish friends. And when I posted about it, my friend Ali reached out to um, ask if she could replace it for me. And I am very, very grateful for having her in my life because I was literally on the verge of a mental breakdown because I'm saving up money right now so I can't even afford to replace it and it's like gonna be one of my favorite reads I'm projecting but yeah I'm gonna show you guys so like right on the edge is where I got it the most like you can see like the blue oh I can't even look at it but I'm not gonna let this pause stop me from finishing this book I want to try to finish it today I have honey and spice all queued up on my tv let me show you guys there she is. We are on chapter 15. Also look at my beautiful Bridgerton collection. Can never not mention her. So yeah, that's where we're at right now. Um, I haven't started Tender Beast because Honey and Spice actually has been my main focus. Also side note, I found this shirt. I was looking for it forever because I had bought it while I was at college. And it's like, like a vintage Monster High shirt. Like it looks so vintage. And I just know that my inner child would have been so happy for this shirt. I would have been screaming for my mom to get it for me at Hot Topic, okay? Just thought I'd share that. So I'm going to do some reading and hopefully I can finish the book today. It's very beautiful out, so windows open, letting light in. Hopefully that'll make me feel better about the situation. Let's get into this. Oh, I didn't show you guys my book mail, hold on. We just got some book mail. We just got some book mail. We just got some book mail. Wonder who it's from. It's from Berkeley. This is The Kiss Countdown by Etta Easton. I literally begged, screamed, kicked, and cried for this book, okay? And I didn't even think I was gonna get it because I saw other people posting about it like weeks ago. 
And I was like, okay, well, I'll just accept my fate. I'm not getting it, but I'm still gonna buy it and support this author. But I got it. So thank you very much, Berkeley, for the free book. Love you, girlies. Sorry, I just realized there is some further ado to address. Um, starting the audiobook while reading the physical book has been so, so helpful for me for reading faster. Like, I know it doesn't seem like it, but I finished so much more than I normally would just reading on my own speed. Because if you put it at 2x, because I use it through Spotify, if you put it at 2x, it forces you to read faster. And also like hearing their accents and their voice and their banter, it just really, really helps like put me in the scene. So um, there was someone on Instagram who recommended that to me. Thank you so much. Okay, so it's later Saturday now, it's eight o'clock and we are, I don't know if you can see, wait, we're right here. We're right at the 100 pages left mark and it's getting spicy, okay? They are about to have a one bed trope and I feel like something big's gonna happen. So I'm gonna record my reaction because I feel like, I feel like this is about to be the hookup and explain what I'm feeling for you chapter, but I might be wrong. But that's just how I feel. That's what I feel is coming up, okay? And I can't wait anymore. So I'm gonna turn on my narration. We're gonna get back into it. Okay, so much just happened in that chapter, more than I thought would happen. So there was a love confession, amazing love confession, as they were dancing on the dance floor together. Oof. So, you know, slow winding, and then he says, you're it for me. You're not just a link, you're it for me. He said, you're it for me. But then there was a plot just at the end. Spoiler alert, by the way, but this guy that she used to talk to named Zach walks in and he's a complete asshole and he also like, sent her a picture of his junk before this and was like i know you missed this and she had to block him because he's being a fucking weirdo he just walked into the party that he was not supposed to be at but i like the tension okay i hope malachi beats zach's ass
the next chapter gave if you touch my wife you'll fucking die that's what it gave and i wasn't expecting it to give that but oh my god he just strangled that man on the counter for even mentioning kiki's name i need me a malachi wow She said loving Malachi felt like when Frank Ocean repeatedly sung pleasure in Pink Matter. If that's not the most beautiful way to describe falling in love with someone, I, the writing in this book, I'm obsessed. Obsessed. Okay, we are at the final, final pages now. I'm really about to finish it and I don't even know how to feel. Okay, we're just gonna finish it. My light died, but I'm not gonna let that stop us from getting this beautiful ending, okay? We're gonna keep going. I finished I'm gonna give you guys my feelings while it is still fresh in my mind I cried towards the end and if a romance can make me cry towards the end then it's a damn good romance okay I don't think this book could have been written better if she had the voice of God whispering in her ear telling her what to write okay and that says a lot I'm going to give this six stars this was incredible it was emotional the character development the world building and I don't mean world building in the sense of like you know like a fantasy sense just in the sense of like these characters had so much depth i feel like i'm gonna need to sit with it a while longer but this was the perfect book to read after finally getting out of my reading slump because it was perfect i hope not too perfect that it puts me back in one but yeah a lot of people were telling me to read this because they said i would like it you guys were right i will never doubt you again <sighs> anyways thank you so much for watching this chaotic reading vlog that was supposed to be multiple books but just ended up being me focusing on honey and spice because it was just that good um make sure to follow me on all my different socials because i'm more active on there and yeah subscribe thank you for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one i sound like i've been crying and i have bye